The 2022-23 ECAC hockey season is coming to a close. But first, we take time to recognize those student athletes who stood out above the rest. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm ECAC Hockey Associate Commissioner Nick Zerbinski. We have a full slate of awards to announce, and kicking things off are the finalists for the Mandy Schwartz Scholar Athlete Award. The three finalists are Yale's Emma Seitz, Quinnipiac's Kate Riley, and Colgate's Sammy Spigliani. The Mandy Schwartz Scholar Athlete of the Year Award is presented annually to an ECAC hockey female athlete in honor of the late Mandy Schwartz, a Yale women's ice hockey alum who passed away in April 2011 and is awarded to the ECAC hockey student athlete who most embodies Mandy Schwartz's excellence and leadership on the ice, in the classroom, and in the community. All three of this year's nominees have not only exhibited exceptional play on the ice, but have been tremendous students and campus role models. This year's Mandy Schwartz Scholar Athlete of the Year is Yale senior Emma Seitz. Seitz ended the regular season with 79 points in 119 games played in her career and has been named all ECAC twice, all Ivy three times, and was the 2021-22 ECAC Defender of the Year. Off the ice, Seitz has been involved in the Yale Housing and Homelessness Project, Yale Women's Athletic Council, AmeriCorps Vista, and other organizations on and off campus. Let's take a look now at this year's all-league teams. Here's Nicole Lally with more on those players who stood out all season long. This year's rookies made an immediate impact for their teams. Here's the ECAC Hockey All-Rookie Team. Princeton's Taylor Highland, Cornell's Grace Dwyer and Alyssa Regalado, Yale's Jordan Ray, Brown's Jade Ginla, and Colgate's Elisa Biederman. Third team All-ECAC includes RPI's Amanda Rampato, Clarkson's Haley Wynn, Colgate's Allison Simpson and Kelty Kaltikova, Yale's Claire Dalton, and Clarkson's Gabrielle David. Second team All-ECAC includes Colgate's Hannah Murphy, Quinnipiac's Kendall Cooper, Clarkson's Nicole Gosling, St. Lawrence's Julia Gosling, Quinnipiac's Olivia Mobley, and Cornell's Izzy Daniel. And first team All-ECAC this year, Yale's Pia Dukaric, Emma Seitz and Elle Harchi, Colgate's Sydney Bard, Danielle Serdakny, and Gillis Frechette. Moving on to our individual award winners. Our goaltender of the year helped backstop her team to a record-setting season. Pia Dukaric of Yale has posted a 28-2-1 record with a 9-3-9 save percentage and a 1.29 goals against. The netminder is a semifinalist for the National Goalie of the Year Award and led her team to a regular season championship while posting the second best goals against average and save percentage in the nation. Your defender of the year is also no stranger to accolades this season. For the second straight season, the Defender of the Year is Yale's Emma Seitz. Seitz has tallied 11 goals and 11 assists for 22 points in 28 games this season, running the point for the league's top team. On to Forward of the Year, in a race that included seven of the top 15 point scorers in the nation. The 2022-23 ECAC Women's Hockey Forward of the Year is Danielle Serdakny of Colgate. The Raiders captain has posted 22 goals, 43 assists, and 65 points this season to lead the country in points and lead her team to another ECAC semifinal berth. Our next category is Coach of the Year, and it should come as no surprise that this year's three finalists consistently had their teams at the top of the national polls for the entire season. Here's Nicole again with a look at the three finalists. Quinnipiac head coach Cass Turner, Colgate head coach Greg Fargo, and Yale head coach Mark Bolding have led their teams through a very successful season and helped cement the ECAC as one of the top women's hockey leagues in the country. Wrapping up his 11th regular season as Colgate's head coach, Greg Fargo has been responsible for taking the Raiders to new heights over the last decade. After back-to-back -back ECAC hockey tournament titles in 21 and 22, Fargo is looking to make it three straight in 23 after leading the Raiders to an 18-3-1 league record this season. Bobcats bench boss Cass Turner is in her eighth season with the team and has helped Quinnipiac women's hockey achieve new heights since taking the reins. In 2022-23, she coached the team to a 17-5-0 league record and a third-place finish at the end of the regular season. Now, in his third season at the helm of the Bulldogs, Yale coach Mark Bolding has continued to set records. In 2019-2020, he established an all-time single-season program wins record with 17 overall and has since shattered that record with 26 overall wins in each of his two years since. And this year's Coach of the Year winner is Yale's Mark Bolding. 
So far this year, Boulding has guided the Bulldogs to a 19-2-1 league record and the program's first ever ECAC Hockey regular season championship title. When it comes to Rookie of the Year, why have one when two is twice as nice? Co-Rookie of the Year winners are Brown's Jade Aginla and Yale's Jordan Ray. Both players scored 17 goals on the year and both finished inside the top 15 in the nation in rookie points and rookie points per game. Ray led the nation in points per game amongst all rookies as one of just three first-year players to tally 39 or more points. And finally, this year's Player of the Year. The three finalists could all easily carry the title. Colgate's Danielle Serdakny and Yale's Emma Seitz and Pia Dukaric. But it was the senior out of Colgate who finishes her collegiate career on top. Danielle Serdakny is this year's ECAC Women's Hockey Player of the Year. That's a wrap for the 2022-23 ECAC Women's Hockey Awards Show. It's been a wild ride with a lot of great hockey this season and three great games to follow this weekend. Good luck to our teams moving on to the national tournament, representing not only their schools, but ECAC hockey as a whole. Be sure to catch all the action, updates, and great plays across all our social media platforms. For Nicole Lally, I'm Nick Serbinski. Thanks for tuning in.